Hey guys, this is Nate and this is the Nate or Tater channel. Today I'm going to install a couple signposts and this is uh, for my racetrack here. So I'm out here this newly created uh, dirt track, kind of like a motocross track. And I have a couple signs I want to put up. I already put up one that is um, a dedication of it to my younger brother Spencer. I'm going to have a couple here where I have some trails um, and actually go straight across the track. So I want to, you know, sort of jokingly put up a sign that says caution, um, racetrack crossing. But um, to do that, you, know, you can obviously use a post hole digger, uh, good old fashioned manual way. Um, I have a um, kind of a stump bucket that I um, built for my Bobcat Toolcat and it's really good for digging these small holes that are deep. So I'm gonna use that to kind of open up a spot and then um, use a little bit of manual shoveling to uh, to get it. One thing I will say, you know, lumber prices are crazy right now during all this COVID stuff. And um, I looked at metal, you know, a metal signpost. So the problem is they're like 30, 40 bucks um, a piece for an eight foot pole. And I really don't want to spend that much money on it. So what I found is the cheapest way to get, um, you know, ground treated lumber is this landscape timber. And so these are kind of like a, I want to say probably about a three by two or you know give or take size and they're obviously used for landscape edging um but they're they're treated lumber and i they're like five dollars or something right now that i bought you know before they used to be like 2.98 or something but so it was about the cheapest way um to get a, a post so that's what i did and then um it's eight feet long and i'm going to put it in the ground about 30 inches um you know two feet is probably enough um but I'm going to do 30 inches um, just because I have enough height to, to do that. And I'm just going to put it in the ground here. So let me show you how I, how I go about doing it. So I'm just using that to, uh, you know, dig it down deep and then uh, I'll clear out the bottom and hopefully that should be about deep enough. I'm just cleaning out the, uh, the loose stuff in the bottom, I'm not having to break a sweat, which is nice. So I measured on the uh, the post 30 inches, so just to have a reference. I clear out a little bit more, a couple inches. Now, if I had a metal pipe, and I've done this before, I can actually use the uh, tool cat to press it down the ground. I don't have to use a, a post driver. But since this is a solid beam, it's not just a tube. Obviously, it's a lot harder to push down too. Let's put this in there. Obviously, the landscape timber has two flats and then two rounded sides, so I obviously want a flat pointing the direction I want the sign to show. All right, so let me get some dirt in here.
I'm just gonna try to break up that dirt because this is clay stuff, so it's really clumpy. I'm just gonna try to break it up so I can compact it down in there at the bottom. All right, now I'm just gonna do a little check for level on both sides, or plum, I guess, would be the right term. Pretty close. All right, so throw in a bunch more dirt here. All right, once again, I just kind of chopped it up a little bit. And then I'll check to make sure my post is still staying level. And it is. Now I'm gonna to start to compact this layer again. Should be good with that now. I'm actually cutting this grass sod piece to go around the the post. time I whacked the post a little bit maybe at a level all right so the post is in and now I'm just going to use these little uh, one and a quarter inch long Phillips wood screws obviously they're outdoor rated so they don't uh, corrode then I put washers on them because the holes in these uh, signs are fairly big now one thing i'll say about these signs is you know i looked have some local sign places i contacted them and they were i mean an order of magnitude higher cost than online for what appeared to be the same stuff this is a 3m vinyl reflective uh 10 year guarantee they're on um, aluminum that's uh, 0.08 thick and um you know online i think this was like 40 bucks maybe but uh at my local places to get three signs they wanted like 450 dollars so i went online and bought it i like to do local if i can but um, this was like a road traffic signs.com is where i got them from so and i've been pretty happy Alright, easy as that. Well, here's my traffic sign. It's right at eye level, at least for me. I'm only uh, five foot six or so, so um, that's about right where the center of the sign is, which works well um, for me. Now I have to put one on the other side over there, and uh, then I'll have my signs complete. Alright, so I did the same thing. To this one, you can actually see the uh, other one I just did um, straight back there on the other side of the, the track. And so now I'm just gonna screw this one in.
all right there we go we got this one and then you can see that one on the far side there so now i'm all set i have a little bit of a thing to show so here's the the trail comes up this way then obviously goes up and uh we'll follow kind of the toolcat tracks not it used to be straight across but uh now because i have these uh bank turns and jumps um instead of going straight across we got to kind of go a little bit of a uh, zigzag around them but um now my signs are complete if you uh like the channel uh, and you subscribe you'll see some more videos i'm gonna do videos of um vehicles out here on this dirt track i have uh, lots of technology videos and uh, smart home stuff and uh, as well as using this tool cat around my property to uh, brush cut to mow uh, dig you name it so um, keep watching thanks